Is the Kingdom Hearts 2 SH figure art store figure, and that's what we're gonna be doing going over the articulation, the size comparison, the paint job, all that great stuff right here, right now. So let's get right to it. Oh my god, I've been talking about this figure forever on my YouTube channel, and to finally have it, it's just it's a dream come true. So why don't we go ahead and give Sora a little 360 degree spin, get a good look at the figure, and overall, I'm not gonna lie, SH figure arts, <laughs> you basically nailed it. Just go ahead and look, you know, look at the color, look at the design. SH figure arts, boy, you guys are on point as always. Alright, so why don't we go ahead and start off with that articulation. Alright, so when it comes to the arms, they can stretch about this far up. It is somewhat limited because of his little hoodie that he never wears, and the arms can stretch about this far going forward. They can stretch about this far going back. So you have some nice movements with the arms over here to do some pretty cool poses. You do have a single joint on the arm as well, so you have that one bent. And you can also rotate the arm as well, so you can bring it up, you can bring it down, you can bring it left, you can bring it right. It is connected via ball peg, so you do have some movements with the arm. The hand itself is connected via ball peg, so you can go ahead and rotate in a complete 360 degree spin, and you can bring it in, and you can bring it out as well. So far, pretty good. Now the head over here can look a little bit to the right, and a little bit to the left. It can look about this far going down so you got some nice movement right over there and can look about this far going up well let's see if it could stay in place well mine keeps wobbling back but it does have a nice range of movement that I can move to the back right over there so boom there you go for the head now the waist movement there are two separate pieces but it kind of acts as one so you can basically rotate it to the right and you can rotate it to the left as well and you can bring it about this far going down and you can bring it about this far going up so not bad overall now, now we go down to the legs over here. Now the legs I am very impressed with because I was scared. When you see these yellow straps, that is when I get worried because usually it hinders the articulation with the legs. But SH Figure Arts being the wise people that they are, decided to make these separate plastic pieces over here so the legs can stretch about this far out and you don't have to worry about breaking this piece at all. And that is a very nice touch that they did. I'm super glad that they added that. And one other cool thing that you might have noticed is that these red pieces are connected separate by a ball peg over here. So that's another reason why the legs aren't restricted because usually the red part is connected to the yellow so thank god they decided to not like you know incorporate this whole thing as one thing <laughs> thank you sh figure arts so again the legs can stretch about this far going out the legs can stretch about this far going forward oh my god it's incredible and the legs can stretch about this far going back so you do have some nice ranges with the legs as well now the legs do have a single joint so you can bring it about this far back and you can't really move it any more forward than where it already is the foot over here does have that little pivot over here so you can kind of stretch it up like that boom there you go and the leg itself is connected to the shoe via ball peg so you can just rotate this around up down right left so you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with that and again the little red pieces are connected via ball peg on the bottom right over here so you can go ahead and move them around a couple ways if you want to so that's basically it for the articulation I'm honestly really impressed I'm super impressed with the straps thank god again if the straps were connected the legs would have so much hindering in the articulation I'm so glad SH Figure Arts decided to do those pieces separately so why don't we go ahead and take an up close look at the figure and that paint job all right so here we are with that up close look at Sora's face and I gotta say I'm very impressed with the face this is the most solid face we've ever had in a Kingdom Hearts figure. Just look at the hair, the lining, and all that stuff. There's not really too much shadow effect going on. It's just one single color right over here. But overall, man, look at that face. It is beautifully sculpted, beautifully done. If we go ahead and look at his outfit over here, you can see that the chain is a little bit on the messy side, and it is a part of the body mold itself, which I'm perfectly fine with. I've had sore figures where the necklace is separate, and honestly, it's kind of annoying. But overall, just looking at the paint job, yeah, oh my god, I think I almost got like a perfect one. A little smudge mark right over here here but overall pretty solid look I have like no complaints this is crazy oh there's a little smudge mark right over there but overall a pretty solid job done by SH figure arts no real complaints or problems whatsoever that I would ever of course complain about go ahead and look at the back over here yeah again everything is solid <laughs> I love this Sora figure so why don't we go ahead and check out the accessories that Sora comes with all right so first things first is that Sora does come with two extra faces that of course being one the smiling go happy go lucky Sora right over here so now we go ahead 
and move on to the next face. We have the shouting face, which, oh my god, I absolutely love this shouting face. When I saw that shouting face, I was like, thank you, God, because they always make Sora this happy-go-lucky guy. They're forgetting that Sora, you know, Sora kicks a lot of butt. Now, as you can clearly see, Sora does come with two open hands and the nails, the color. Yeah, everything is on point. No complaints whatsoever, and they look pretty good. Next up on the list, Sora does come with a holding hand right over here, and what this is that basically you put the keyblade on this hand, and you connect this hand to this hand via peg right over here, so it looks like he's doing this effect that I'll show you the image of right now. And last but not least, Sora does come with two hands to hold the weapons themselves. There you go. And next up, of course, as you can clearly see, is the Keyblade. And the Keyblade is painted nicely. No real problems right over here. As you can clearly see, it's a nice, beautiful chain right over here. <laughs> I love the chain. The only really problem I have with this Keyblade is that it's kind of on the small and skinny side, especially the handle parts right over here. My god, these things are like toothpicks. These things definitely could have been a little bit more thicker. And you do have the rim effects going on over here as well. So overall, the Keyblade, pretty nicely well done. Alright, so now that we're done with the accessories, why don't we go ahead and do that good old-fashioned size comparison. Alright, as you can clearly see, here we have Sora next to the Figma, Elsa, and the SH Figure Arts Jack Sparrow. And I gotta say, the scaling with this is pretty darn well. As we all know, Sora in real life is pretty much on the short side. I remember they revealed his height, like, literally not too long ago. I think he's like 5'2", five, 5'4", five, or something. So Sora isn't really a tall dude. And when it comes to other characters in the game, like Jack Sparrow, Sora is ridiculously shorter compared to anybody else. So the scaling over here, I think it works perfectly well. Who knows about Elsa? You know, we're just gonna have to wait for that Kingdom Hearts 3. You know Frozen is coming, and I cannot wait. But overall, the scaling over here, I think works out absolutely fantastic. Now here we have Sora next to the SH Figure Arts Goku figure, and the Figma Izuku Midoriya figure. Now, okay, when it comes to Goku, looks pretty good. When it comes to Deku, ah, oh, this kind of bothers me like a lot. The scaling just doesn't really work out too well for me. I feel as though, come on, Sora's got to at least be taller than Deku. So this, yeah, this really kind of bothers me. Now here we have Sora next to the SH Figure Arts Sage Bow Naruto, and we have him next to Link. And the scaling over here, I think it works out pretty good. He's almost about the same height as Link, yet he's a little bit shorter than Naruto, and I'm okay with that. Now we have Sora next to the Diamond Select Pluto figure, and the Diamond Select Mickey Mouse figure. Now I'm not really too sure about the scaling with this, because we are getting the SH Figure Arts Mickey Mickey Mouse figure, and this Sora is pretty small, so I'm going to assume this Mickey Mouse is probably going to be a little bit smaller, but overall, it's not too bad. I think he works well with the Pluto. As far as the Mickey Mouse goes, we're going to have to wait for the SH Figure Arts Mickey Mouse, but overall, not bad. And now here we have Sora next to the Diamond Select Heartless figure and the Diamond Select Nobody figure, and the scaling, I think, works out pretty well. I absolutely love having these figures together. Yo, these are so cool. And here we have Sora next to the SH Figure Arts Han Solo figure and the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker figure. And and now here we have the beautiful SH figure arts next to the god awful diamond select Sora figure. Get this thing out of my face. And last but not least, of course, here we have the SH figure arts Sora next to the bring arts Sora. Now I know what you're all thinking, which is the better Sora? Uh, personally, that's probably for another video, but I gotta say they both have their benefits and their downfalls right over here. This Sora's face is the most accurate, I think, but I like the height on the bring arts Sora a lot more. So which one to get? Uh, you know, it's personally gonna be preference and all that stuff. If you haven't seen my review of this guy, make sure you go ahead and watch it. But from what I can tell you, I definitely like the SH Figure Arts more. It feels a lot more like, you know, like an actual figure than this thing. This thing has a lot of issues. The Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora, it is my favorite Sora out of all of them. The face, the sculpting, everything on this is perfect. But again, I really like the height on this guy a lot more. So maybe I'll do a separate video later talking about like, you know, which one is better, SH Figure Arts or Bring Us. But for me personally, as of right now, it's gonna have to be the SH Figure Arts. All right, so we are back again with Sora. As you can clearly see, he's got his Keyblade on. And he's got that beautiful, beautiful shouting face. Now, one other cool little thing that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys, you can thank me later, thank me in the comment section below, is that, you know, as you all know, there are those, like, you know, those Kingdom Hearts Diamond Select figures, like this Mickey Mouse, for example. Uh, one Keyblade that he came with that I absolutely love is the Star Seeker Keyblade right over here. Now, one interesting thing is, like, as you know, Sora does come with another open hand, and presto changeo, here we go. Uh, as you can clearly see, those Keyblades 
Beyblades will fit this Sora, and that is absolutely fantastic, my dude. And boom, as you can clearly see, oh my goodness gracious, the Star Seeker Keyblade does in fact fit Sora's hand. So you've got some beautiful dual wielding action over here, which doesn't really make much sense because Sora in his base form doesn't really do dual wielding. It's only when he's in his drive form does he do dual wielding. But you know, whatever, your imagination, your figure, do whatever the heck you want with it. That is absolutely fantastic and absolutely cool that all these other Keyblades will fit this hand. And not just only the Diamond Select Keyblades. Like, I've had previous Keyblades from the old school Play Arts figures, kind of like this one right over here, the Lion King Keyblade. This Keyblade will, in fact, fit this hand, so that is awesome. If you have a collection of all the older Keyblades, they will fit the SH Figure Arts Sora figure, and that is absolutely fantastic. So, guys, that is basically it for this video. And what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, what do you think of this Sora figure? Do you plan on picking it up? Do you prefer the Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit, or do you prefer the Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit? And I'm going to end this video by showing you a bunch of pictures that I took with the figure, so you get a nice, clean look at it. So, guys, if you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up, as that really helps me out. And if you aren't already, you can follow me on my Instagram channel at MattSwag12345, where I post all the good stuff, or my Twitter account, which is the same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. So, again, guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up, as that really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see ya real soon. Come on, Sora. Let's go.